Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different than normal. I've got my computer up here and I'm going to be showing you my business's financials. Specifically, we're gonna look at how much money my business made in 2019 and how much of that we spent and how much I was able to take home. This video is gonna be a little bit of a pain to edit because there's so much sensitive information that you're gonna see because I'm actually gonna be showing you inside my QuickBooks account, showing you the books themselves, um, just so you can see all the details. So I hope that you enjoy it. Please do leave a comment below. Tell me if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, if you're interested in seeing the behind the scenes of my business, if there's anything else that you would like me to share with you. Uh, but without further ado, let's get on into it. Here we are inside my QuickBooks account, and right now you're just seeing some of the numbers from this past month, but we're going to head into the reports. And then we are going to choose the profit and loss report. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change these dates to be for last year. So we're just gonna change that to January 1st, 2019 on through um, December 31st of 2019. And then we will run that report. So like I said, you will see some information blurred out just to um, protect sensitive information, but I'm gonna share with you as much of the numbers, as many of the numbers as I possibly can. So up here in the top part of the profit and loss statement, you can see income. So this first section is other income. This is things like affiliate program income, Amazon revenue, teachable income, things like that. So this is not income from the actual products that my business sells, but it's pretty much everything else. So altogether, that part adds up to $67,000 for the year. As you can see, the biggest chunk of that is $47,000 from YouTube. So if you're ever wondering how much YouTube pays me, well, last year they paid me right around $4,000 a month. So far for this year, and what I mean by that is just for um, these last couple months here, it has been a bit higher than that. It's almost $6,000, so that's just something that's kind of interesting. But last year they paid me an average of $4,000 a month. Okay, so that is the other income. Now I'm just going to um, compress that there so that we can look at the rest of this information more easily. Next up, we've got product sales. So my business primarily sells digital products, such as digital courses. So I sell training programs that people can purchase to learn how to do different things, specifically grow online businesses and market their online business. So each of these different line items here is a different product or a course that my business sells. So let's just cut, touch on a couple that are our best sellers. Um, we sold $47,000 of our YouTube success program channel launch, and we sold $156,000 of Startup Society memberships. That is our primary program. It's a business training program for online entrepreneurs. And altogether, our product sales added up to $215,641. So we'll just uh, compress that one. And then we can see that we had about $800 of refunds and our total gross profit, so the total amount of money that people paid us was $281,870,000. So a bit shy of $300,000 for 2019, which definitely is a big increase over 2018, um, pretty much on track with where we wanna be for now. I mean, of course, it's always nicer, nicest if those numbers are even bigger, but I'm pretty happy with that. So this is our profit, our gross profit, which means it's the money people paid us, but not yet including any of our expenses or the money we paid for taxes or anything like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is come down and look at the expenses. Before we get into that, I just wanted to let you know that if you wanna see more detailed income reports in the future, I actually have plans to do that, but it's not going to happen here on this YouTube channel. If you haven't heard, I am starting a podcast and the podcast is going to be launching on Monday, January 27th. And something that I'm going to be doing on the podcast is an income report every single month. So those income reports will be via audio as a podcast is, but they're going to be a little different than this. 
First of all, it'll be a monthly income report, not an annual income report, but I'm gonna share with you some information that isn't getting shared here. Specifically, I'm going to share with you what I did to make the money. So not just share with you, I made this much money from this course, but instead I'm gonna talk with you more about what we did to promote that course and how we made the money. And I'm going to give you a report on how much I work and what I spend my work hours on so that you can see how much I'm earning per hour for different activities. And that can help you make better decisions about what you need to focus your time on if you want to maximize your income. So I just wanted to let you know, if you want to see more income reports, the podcast is the place to do it. There's a link down below where you can learn more about the podcast. Okay. With that being said, let's get on into these expenses. So first of all, we've got this general expenses category. The first thing here is advertising and marketing. We spent $2,234 on advertising and marketing which is a pretty small advertising and marketing budget for the amount of sales we're doing. So I'm very pleased with that. And then we spent some money on bank charges, some money on business licenses and fees, but altogether, not that many of those expenses. Next up, we have some driving expenses. Um, this, I will let you know, is going to be a little higher. We haven't added in all of our mileage yet. Um, it just hasn't been updated yet because we haven't done our 2019 taxes yet, and that's something that we'll add in as we're doing the taxes. But I wanted to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible, as soon as we had those 2019 numbers, because I just felt like this video would be stale if I did this 2019 income report a few months into 2020. Okay, then we've got continuing education and training. So this is me purchasing courses for myself to learn um, how to do, how to market my business better. And I spent a little over a thousand dollars on that this year. Some years I spend far more than that. Um, it kind of just depends on where I'm at with my business. Some years I need to learn a lot more because I'm kind of on a plateau. And other years like this year, I had plenty of knowledge and I just needed to focus on the doing. Okay. After that is copywriter expenses. So I spent a little less than $13,000 working with copywriters. This is something that was a big experiment we were doing this year where we were having other people write some of our marketing materials. Uh, we definitely learned a lot in the process. We probably won't be investing that much into copywriters in the future, um, but it certainly was a positive learning experience. We also spent some money on graphic designers, um, paid some interest on credit cards, and we also spent some money on legal and professional services, although all of that pretty much was bookkeeping. So paying the bookkeeper to keep track of all this for me, because this is not my strong suit. I'm great at math and uh, I can read this stuff all day long, but I'm just not a good record keeper myself. So we pay someone to keep so organized so that it is all perfectly up to date and totally organized. So it's not messy at all. So all together for that category, we paid a little about under 7,000. Then we've got meals and entertainment. So this is mostly meals when I was traveling for work, $400. Office decor was a little over $500. That was mostly buying some new things for this new office space that I moved into this year. Then we've got a little less than $800 of office supplies and then some other miscellaneous office supplies, $400. So not that bad at all. And then $8,600 on software and subscriptions. So that is one of our biggest expenses, biggest overhead expenses in running this online business is that this business runs on software. So no, we don't have to pay for an office space anywhere um, or all of the costs related to that, like utilities, but we definitely do have to pay for our hosting and our email service provider and all of those things. So um, our office expenses essentially added up to about $10,000. Now beyond that, we also had video expenses. This was paying video editors to edit these YouTube videos. For the most part, that was about $3,000. And then we spent some money on PayPal fees. Now this is just subtracted from people's payments when they pay us. Um, it's basically a payment processor fee. We paid $2,000 for that. 
And then we have payroll expenses. So payroll expenses um, are money that we are paying for our employees and also the taxes we're paying for the employees. Now, if you've watched uh, another video that I did recently, then you'll know that um, I'm the only employee of my company. And so all of these salaries and wages were just money that was paid to me. So I'm actually going to add that back to the net income that we see at the end to see exactly how much my business really earned in profit. Um, I'll explain more about that in a minute. Um, but basically for this part here, we paid a total of $61,000, but like I said, most of that was directly paying me. Um, then we have photography expenses. So I paid a little over $2,000 for people to take my pictures because having pictures for social media, for my website, that is a big part of the marketing of my business. $100 for postage um, and Stripe payment processing fees a little over $600, $6,300. Um, so Stripe is the main payment processor we use for processing payments online, aside from PayPal. We process most of our payments with Stripe and um, we paid them a little over $6,000 to process all of those transactions. Then we've got subcontractors. Um, so this is probably my single biggest expense. Um, and so what we have here is administrative assistance. So this is my customer service team, paid them at $14,000. Then we've got my online business manager, otherwise known as my integrator, uh, paid her a little, well, $17,600. She takes care of so many things for me. It really keeps things running smoothly. A well, well, a very, um, a, a great investment to make into my company. Um, and then we've got more video editing. So honestly, um, right here, I'm not quite sure why we've got video editing down here and video expenses up here. It's possible that that first number I mentioned, the video expenses, um, I'd have to click on this and like look through the transactions to see for sure, but that might actually be um, video equipment. So maybe it just needs to be relabeled. It might be cameras and microphones, lighting, all that sort of stuff. Because down here we do have video editing for $7,500. Okay, so total paid to subcontractors was a little under $40,000. Then we also paid some money for tax preparation and then for some utilities that are specifically for the business, um, such as the internet. Um, and then we have travel. Travel is $6,000. I traveled to a few different business events that were mostly educational events or networking events and that was $6,000. We've got $3,300 of uncategorized expenses that I probably need to go through one item at a time for tax purposes. Um, we've got utilities. I'm not actually quite sure what these utilities are. Again, I'll have to check that out, but the main picture here is I want you to see how much it costs to run my business and how much my business earned. Not obviously go through every single item that I spent on because that would just take way too long. We'd be here all day. So, um, and then running the website. So this is aside from software, this is most like the hosting here. And that was about $5,000. So all together, our total expenses for the year were $165,000. $546,000. And then what it shows here is that our net income was $116,323. Now, like I said, there was one significant chunk here, this $56,400 that was actually paid directly to me. Um, so I'm just going to quickly add that to the one, add that to the income and subtract it from the expenses. Um, so we've got 165, five, four, six. So that's our expenses. And I'm just gonna subtract my wages from that, 56,400. So those are our actual real expenses, basically $109,000. That's how much it cost me to run my business this year. And then we'll just figure out the actual profit for myself as the owner. So that number, which is this number down here, the net income, plus that 56,400 
And that right there, 172, almost $173,000, that is how much my business earned in profit. That's essentially my take home. Uh, as the owner of an LLC, I take it home in different parts. Some of it is gonna stay in the business for a while. Some of it is being paid to me as wages and other parts of it will be paid to me as owner draws, but it is all my money as the sole owner of the the business. So there we have it. That is the numbers of my business for 2019, my 2019 income report. Like I said, I haven't done an income report here on this channel ever before. So if you liked this, make sure you hit the like button, leave me a comment below, let me know. But also if you liked it, do click that link down below to find out more about the podcast. Because like I said, I'm gonna be doing income reports every single month on the podcast, only they're actually going to be way more detailed and helpful than this is because I'll really be showing you the application of the income report. Not just sharing with you the numbers of my business, but sharing with you how I got those numbers in terms of what I did to earn that money. So that you can see how you might be able to better run your business and make more money with your business. I'm going to be tracking my hours day by day so that I can see that breakdown of exactly where I spend my time. Like I said, that's happening every single month on the podcast. There's a link down below, click that link. What you'll find after you click that link is just some more information about the podcast, but also the opportunity for you to sign up to be on our street team, if that's something you're interested in. If you join the street team, you'll be able to help us out with promoting the podcast and getting the word out, but you'll also be the first to know when the podcast launches and you'll get some cool behind the scenes details and a few bonuses along the way. I definitely would appreciate your help. It would be a big help if you would like to participate in that. So thanks again so much for watching today's video and I'll see you again next week.